Hey guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So today we're going to show off my vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection. So with doing my last video on my entire Turtles collection, that was actually in my old place. So today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the new and improved vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection that I have. So this is going to be an updated 2022 version of this massive collection of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures, vehicles, just old vintage promotional items, and just so much other cool stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of this turtle stuff. So I decided to go ahead and just go by shelf by shelf and everywhere in this room that I have upstairs that I just don't often show off. So all of this stuff, I decided to recap some of my favorite items, some of the more expensive items, and just some of the ones that are a little bit difficult to find. So let me know as we go along which items you had back in the day and which items you were most looking forward to to add to your vintage turtle collection. So first of all, at the very top here, we actually have some pretty cool items. We have these vintage suitcases, and these I actually scored for such a great deal. They came jam-packed with turtle figures. And then I have this really cool vintage April watch. So this is April O'Neil, and of course this watch is still sealed, still on the card. And this one is actually pretty cool because most of the time you see the turtle watches and this one is pretty neat because it is still sealed. And then of course you notice this large Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure. This one is a jumbo sized turtle figure. They do go for quite a bit and I actually found this for just a couple dollars at my local thrift store. So I was very excited about that as I've seen the whole set go for a lot of money, especially if you find them in the boxes. Now to go ahead and move on to this top shelf here. I really wanted to kind of display a lot of the items that I had, a lot of the boxed items, and a lot of the on-card figures. So right here, the centerpiece, we have this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Foot Cruiser, Foot Clan's Bad to the Bone Attack Vehicle. This thing is complete in the box, and this thing I have seen go for about $450 or so in the box. So that is just crazy to me as I bought these quite a few years ago before things started going up in price. And then even right here, this 10 back, right here, one of these original display figures, we have Shredder and this still is unpunched. So this is one card, unpunched, a 10 back. And that thing I have seen go for about $150 to $200 in a decent condition. Of course I have a loose figure right here but he is heavily played as he has some of the paint missing some of the pieces missing once again I found that loose figure at a thrift store for such a great deal and then over here we have wing nut and screw loose so this one is actually punched out but this figure is very difficult to find with all of the pieces so usually you're missing all of the little extras the weapons and things like that for this character because he does have wings, he has a lot of stuff on his utility belt, he has a lot of different characters with him, and then he has all of these weapons. So I thought that this one was a pretty awesome figure, and it's definitely among one of my favorites because it does resemble Batman in a way, so I do like that about this particular figure. And I've seen that one go for upwards of $150 depending on the condition as well. And then of course all of these other ones we have slash i've seen him go for about 30 bucks or so and then i've seen tons of people make armies out of the foot soldiers and just other characters in general so usually they pick one of their favorites of course i really do like slash i've seen a couple people make armies out of him depending on the different color variants that they have with the paint so that is definitely pretty cool and this is probably one of my favorite shelves just because it does have some of these heavy hitters on it. And then as we go ahead and we take a step down, you'll notice that I have tons of stuff kind of jam-packed on this shelf right here in particular. So this one has various vehicles. We have some loose, we do have some in the boxes. 
And then we have some carded figures. So this one just has a lot kind of going on. So this one right here is actually pretty cool. This one is the Don's Crazy Carnival car. And this one has a lot of cool pieces. And that one is just a pretty neat one that I was excited to find. Then of course we have this right here, the Shredder Mobile. So this one is pretty cool. It says Chrome Doom on it. It has all of these little kind of spikes throughout the wheels here. Just a really neat vehicle with all of these rockets and extras. So I really do like that about some of these actual vehicles that we have here. And then this one right here, we have this complete in box, double barreled plunger gun, twin plungers of pounding force. So this one is actually a pretty cool vehicle. And I really like that it comes with the box just because the box is so beautiful. The artwork on these original vintage turtle toys is just amazing. And I've seen those go for at least $65 in the box. So some of these prices are just insane as I'm so glad that I started at a time when I did. And then another really cool vehicle that I have right here is actually going to be this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sewer dragster with the rip cord. So this one is actually really cool as you could go ahead and just kind of launch it with that little rip cord that you have. So those are definitely pretty neat and those can bring a hefty price depending on if the vehicles are complete with all of the extras. And then even back here, we do have some carded figures. We have one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle All-Stars. We have the Sewer Sports character. Then we have this one over here, which is unpunched. On the card, we have Ray Filet. So that one is actually a pretty cool character. And I've seen that one go for about $50 in the card, just like that. So that is definitely a great one to find. And then some of these loose characters, I've seen this set right here, this Sergeant Bananas for about $25. Of course, you have to have all of the little pieces that go with this character. And then we have Mer Dude over here. I've seen him for about $50 with all of his extras as well. And then Sandstorm, I've seen him go for about $130 with all of his extra little pieces right here, all of these weapons. So some of these characters can bring a hefty price depending on all of their extras and all of the weapons that we have here. So a lot of these are some of my favorite characters in the bunch. Now, as we drop it down to this shelf right here, this one actually has a really cool effect to the shelf. So this is an Ikea Billy bookcase, but it has this neat little metal attachment to it that does lift up. So just before I go ahead and do that, we'll take a look at some of these carded figures. So some of these are actually really neat figures. So right here we have one of the original 10 back figures. Of course we have this one right here. So this is actually unpunched. So I am pretty thrilled to have that one in my collection as I'm going for a full set. So here we have Splinter and this is in pretty decent shape. So I've seen some of these go for a decent amount, like over a hundred dollars just for this figure. Then of course we have a couple different variants of April O'Neil. We have these really cool magnets of some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters. And then it has the same style artwork for the box. And then of course, under all of this stuff, like this little flashlight, we have actually tons of these little books. So I thought that these were pretty cool. And I remember having some of these from back in the day. So of course we have these little adventure color books and we have just various different ones. So I thought that that was a pretty cool idea for this particular shelf because it does have that added bonus. And then a new recent addition is this really awesome pin. This is a promotional item for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, the movie. So I thought that this pin was pretty neat as well. This is a huge pin. And then as we go ahead and lift up this, you'll notice that I have tons of vintage figures behind here. I have some really cool items as well, like some party favors and some little items that you would have used if you had a vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle party back in the day. I have some cups back there. I even have this weird little locker bag that comes with a toothbrush and it comes with soap and some other little items. And then that one back there, it has this Valentine's Day with all of these different sayings from 
the turtles, so that is pretty cool. Then I have some of my favorite turtles right here. So, of course, right across the front we have these rocker turtles. So, a lot of these are pretty cool to have. I am missing the little party rock bus that comes with them. So, all of these characters have their little weapons, which are kind of a mix of these musical instruments. So, these are the rock and roll turtles. And then we have, right there, we have heavy metal Ralph. We have classic rocker Leo, Rappin' Mike, and we have Punker Don. So all of those together I've seen go for over $25 a figure if it includes all of the little pieces. And then we have over here we have some of these more expensive ones. So we have this one right here. We have Make My Day Leo. This one is actually a pretty fun one because it says Make My Day coming out of the gun. And then we have various figures. Some of these universal monsters are more expensive if you find them complete with their little weapons. And then we just have a various mix of all of these other turtles here. And then as we drop it down to this shelf here, you'll notice that we have tons of these colorful characters going on. We just kind of have a lot jam-packed on this shelf. So I really wanted to take this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle puzzle set that I have and just display them, especially the boxes themselves. They're so colorful. They show off amazing scenes from some of these cartoons and just these turtles in general. So I really wanted to take these four puzzle sets and go ahead and just display them rather nicely. And then you'll notice right there in the center of that shelf, we have that Toon Don. So he is part of the Toon Turtles. And that little set right there, that complete in box, with the unpunched set, that thing is going for about $150 to $250 depending on the day, pretty much. And that I actually got from a buddy of mine who found it at a thrift store for only a few dollars. So I thought that that was insane that you could still find this stuff at the thrift store and it had about a $2.99 price tag on it. So of course I bought it for a couple more dollars than that but I did not pay $150 to $250 as they actually go. And then you'll kind of notice that we have tons of figures just all scattered throughout there. And some of them are pretty pricey, like that Deep Sea Leo diver that we have. And that one with that crazy little octopus, that is going for about $200 plus just for that one figure in particular. And then you'll notice a complete Anthrax character. We have that for about 70 and up. And then we have all of those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mighty Max style mini play sets. So you open them up. They're on top of the puzzles right there. And you'll notice that they kind of open up into their own little mini play set where you have these mini figures where you could go ahead and just kind of use your creative style to it and just use them as a cool little playset. So I really do like those as well and I would love to add more of the characters and the missing pieces that I need for them. And then as we continue to go lower on the shelf here, you'll notice that I actually have quite a bit of these newer style Nickelodeon figures. These were only released at GameStop so I have the full set. So you'll notice that on the top shelf there I have the four and then on the bottom, I have another four with the original movie style turtles that you have. So those are actually really cool display pieces. And I did not want to take them out of the box as I actually like the box artwork as well. So I thought that they did a great job on re-releasing those. And that NECA line is just amazing. So I was definitely glad to score all eight of them that I could. I know that they've made a few others and certain little variants that you could get from some loot crate boxes and things like that. But I decided to just stick with the four vintage turtles and all of the rest of the characters as well. And then you'll notice in the middle we have that signed, certified, pre-owned, signed Ninja Turtle character and that is signed by Kevin Eastman. So of course I have to have something dedicated and something displayed for him and he actually signed this turtle character. He decided to kind of just jumble up some of the figures that he had from his childhood 
and just some of the loose weapons and kind of create something that he could go ahead and sign, get it packaged, and just display it. So that is definitely a really cool piece right there that I have to have right in the middle on display. And then some of these other characters on that shelf are just pretty amazing. You just have some of the movie character style ones and you just have some of the others that I needed to display so I just decided to put some of them on that shelf. And then as we drop it down to the bottom, you'll notice that we have that cool little Heroes in a Half Shell, little Burger King toy that they had back in the day for turtles. They had a lot of those at various fast food places. So I would love to get the full set of those as I do remember having them back in the day. And then right there in the middle, that is another little vintage turtle line. They're the original turtle release. They're kind of newly packaged and newly released today. So I decided to go ahead and put them in the center as I did get them from GameStop as well. So I thought that they would go great with some of the other new lines that I have. So those are definitely really awesome and sweet pieces to add in this little collection just to tie it in with the new versus the old. And they are kind of old in a way because they are remodeled and modeled after some of the older vintage lines of turtles. Then of course over here you'll notice that we have this vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cowabunga Pizza Toss. So this is this little tic-tac-toe vintage style little game that you could go ahead and X or O would kind of make it this little tic-tac-toe game and you use these little pizza slices, these little bean bags that look just like pizza to go ahead and throw to try and master this game. So I really thought that this was a cool piece, especially for that vintage artwork on here. And I found it for such an amazing deal at this really awesome toy store that I went to. So this is definitely a really cool piece as well. So I had to show this off in this video. And then this right here, this is actually my newest edition. This was actually a gift for the holidays. And this right here is modeled to look just like the vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Turtle Party Wagon. So this thing is actually really cool. They actually sell these at Walmart. And then of course, if you can't find them at your local Walmart, you can always try and find one on Facebook Marketplace. So this is actually really cool as it has this vibrant and beautiful colors on this box here. Definitely modeled to be that vintage style. This is the Turtle Party Wagon Mutant Attack Van. So it has all of this really cool stuff on this box right here. And I'm really excited to either open up this or try and find a vintage one as well. So if you do try and find a vintage one, you're going to spend a decent amount of money. But if you try and find one of the newer released ones, this is definitely the best way, the best for your money to go ahead and get that nostalgia kick. So these are actually really cool. And they also did the blimp as well. They have tons of the other figures as well. So this is definitely a line that I will be trying to complete as I have a lot of the vintage stuff here. And as you can tell, some of the prices are just crazy. So this right here, it tells you a little bit about everything. It shows you what it would look like with all of the figures and kind of more of a scale display of this party wagon. So this is definitely really cool and a fun little piece that I have. So of course, let me know what you guys thought about this video. Did you see some really amazing items? Which one was your favorite? Did you like some of the authentic stuff, the original stuff from back in the day? in the original boxes or the carded figures. Just let me know what some of your favorite items were that you saw. Was there anything that you saw that you had when you were a child? Just let me know and let me know what items I'm absolutely missing. What are some items that I definitely need to include next video that I do on an updated collection video. So of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.